a lot of stuff started happening around that time period that put me into a very dark, depressive spiral where I just really was not in a good place. I was I was really in a very, very dark, not safe for YouTube place. And at one point, we have a room inspection. It is not an announced room inspection. So there's two different ways that they would grade room inspections. If it was an announced room inspection, then you were expected to have everything clean, like like white glove clean, like perfect. If it was an unannounced room inspection, then it was just a matter of like, hey, let's make sure that this place isn't total chaos. Let's make sure that this is not so dirty that it's destroying government property. This was an unannounced room inspection. I failed the room inspection. Me and my roommate failed the room inspection because there was a Tupperware container in the sink. That would have failed you on an announced room inspection, but not on an unannounced room inspection. We failed because there was a Tupperware container in the sink. My immediate thought isn't, oh my God, re-inspection. My immediate thought isn't any of the other things that like are, would be upsetting about that. My immediate thought is like, I really don't want to go to go go back to my petty officer and tell them I just failed this inspection because it's going to be just a miserable time for me. Of course, she chews me out. Tells me what a piece of shit I am because I can't keep my room clean. Even after I explain that it was just a Tupperware container in the sink. To, no, no, you're some massive piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. They just going on a whole rant about how, how bad of a person I am because I failed a room inspection. Then my LPO, because like I said, I had a, a Navy chain of command that was separate from my functional chain of command. My LPO comes over. Hey, Johnston, let's talk. Pulls me aside. Not really a side, just in a hallway to the side. And is like, what's going on, man? You were, like, when you got here, you seemed so motivated. You seemed like you had shit together. And all I'm hearing is bad things about you. I'm hearing about you just screwing stuff up all the time. And now you're failing a room inspection? And I look at him. He's my LPO, and he's actually my on-paper mentor, because you had to pick a mentor uh, that was supposed to guide you and teach you how to be in the Navy, how to write your evals, how to do this, all this, whatever. He's my on-paper mentor. And I look at him. And one of the things that helped me deal with all the bullshit up until this point, and there's there's still more that I haven't gotten into, but all the, the, one of the things that helped me deal with all the bullshit up until this point was the fact that once I started realizing that the way she wasn't she was treating me wasn't okay, I didn't want to I didn't want to go to anyone and bitch about it because listen, I'm in the military. If I can't handle this, then how am I supposed to handle you know a, a harder situation? How am I supposed to handle all this sort of stuff? I'm not weak. I'm not I'm not going to be weak about this. I'm just going to keep putting up with it. I'm just going to keep putting up with it. But it started to get to me, and there's other stuff going on in my life that was just like pushing me in a, into a bad place. The thing that kept me sane, the K, the thing that kept me from truly, truly spiraling, spiraling and, you know, erasing was the fact that I knew that what she was doing was not okay. It had been made clear to me that what she was doing was not okay. So if I went somewhere for it, if I went to someone about it and I talked to like my LPO or I talked to someone else that had authority about this, they would solve the problem. So I was going to keep putting up with it until I could escape that team because we're supposed to rotate teams every once in a while. I was going to keep putting up with it until I could escape that team team because I know I have an out. But at this point, I'm just in a really bad place. So when he says, oh, you know, what's going on? Why are you screwing up? I look this man in the eyes and I say, Petty Officer, I'm just in a really, really dark place right now and I don't know what to do. And he looks me back in the eyes and says, you're just making excuses to be a bag and walks the fuck away. That, that damn near pushed me, pushed me over the edge. That got me so close. And as much as I hate Sergeant Shrek, I hate that man almost as much or probably more in some ways. At least Sergeant Shrek had the narcissism about her that she had the audacity at one point to tell me, you're going to thank me for this, Johnson. You're going to thank me. And in, in several years, you're going to thank me and 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 tell me how much of a better troop I made you for all this. At least she had that level of arrogance about her that she thought she was doing good. He was just being a massive piece of shit. He ended up becoming an officer. And the day that I found out he was becoming an officer, I was disgusted. I was disgusted. I, I remember his last day, his last day at that command, uh, a lot of people were saying goodbye because by this point I was actually on his functional team too and I had picked a different mentor. Everyone's like saying their goodbyes and he comes over and to our section and is, is saying his goodbyes to everyone and he walks over and he's like, Johnson tries to shake my hand. I say, I just, I get too at ease. I'm like, Petty Officer? He's like, do you hate me? I was like, fair winds and following seas, Petty Officer. He's like, but do you hate me? I was like, it would be incredibly disrespectful for me to tell a first class Petty Officer that I hate them. It's like, but do you? I was like, 
I wish you well, Petty Officer. <laughs> that Petty Officer, that guy's... Oh my god, I hate him. I hate him so much. I it, The only reason I probably don't hate him more is because he was never directly in charge of me. So I only had to deal with him occasionally. But yeah, that happened. If you liked that video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps the video do much better in the long run. As well, you can check out my other videos here. And if you would like to support me on Patreon, you can get the link in the description, as well as a link to a video that explains what I offer on Patreon. Thank you so much for your support.